we've got 5 and 2 thirds minus 3 and 4 fifths. The first way is to find a common denominator. We have to do this because both denominators are different. So we need to find a common denominator first. We do that by using the least common multiple method. So we're trying to find the least common multiple or a number that will go that 3 and 5 will go into. In this case it's 15. So we put 15 on both sides of the problem. If you didn't know how to get the least common multiple, you would do this. First you would list the first several multiples of 3. Then you would list the first several multiples of 5. Then you would look for common multiples. The one that's lowest, or the one that comes first, is your least common multiple. And that's the one you're going to use for your denominator in the problem. Now that we've got this, we're going to go ahead and take the 15, divide it by the 3 to get 5, take that 5, multiply it by 2 to get 10, and put 10 right here as our numerator. Then, we take this 15, divide it by 5, which is 3, we take that 3, multiply it by 4 to get 12. Now, we see that we cannot subtract 12 from 10 because 12 is bigger. So this is where the borrowing comes in. So what we're going to do is we're going to cross out this 5, make it a 4. We're going to go over here, add 15 and 10, which is 25. This becomes our new numerator. Now we've got 25 minus 12, which would equal 13. And we can go ahead and write 13 fifteenths here. We take our 4, subtract our 3 to get 1 for a final answer of 1 and 13 fifteenths. The second method is a little bit shorter. The first thing we're going to do is write out our problem and change the mixed numbers to improper fractions. How do we do that? We start by taking the 3, multiplying it by the 5 to get 15, adding the 2 to give us 17, and we keep our denominator of 3 to get 17 thirds. Next, we take our 5, multiply it by 3 to get 15, add our 4 to get 19, keep our denominator to get 19 over 5. Now we set up the problem and we're ready to start. What we're going to do first is cross multiply. We're going to start at the top left with the 17. Multiply it by the 5 and that will give us 85. Next we go to our 19, multiply it by 3 to get 57. Next we take 85, subtract 57 to get 28. We multiply the 3 and the 5 to get 15, and we're left with 28 fifteenths. Since 28 fifteenths is an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the denominator, it's usually best to change it into a mixed number. How do we do that? We take our 28 fifteenths, we ask ourselves how many times does 15 go into 28 without going over. It goes once. There's 13 left over. 13 is our numerator. 15 is our denominator. So our final answer is 1 and 13 fifteenths.